Welcome to day two of Dimensions. I hope day one was exciting for all of you. I hope it was both a good networking event, but also learning some about Trimble's existing technology as well as some of the newer technology that we released. What I'd like to address today is the Trimble Expo, which is the exhibition center, where you can look at Trimble and its partners displaying different technologies, displaying different solutions that are transforming your industry. One is mixed reality. You heard from Lorraine Bardeen from Microsoft on day one, talking about HoloLens. We have demonstrations that can show that and show how that's transforming the way the world works. Autonomy, just like connectivity, is the future. We see people around the world driving autonomous cars, right, or, or experimenting with autonomy. So if you go out to our site, you can see an autonomous tractor. We also have an autonomous platform on the Expo Center. Talk to the different Trimble people. Talk to our partners. Together, we're going to transform the way the world works. Thank you. Yesterday, Dimensions 2016 kicked off with a welcome from Trimble CEO, Steve Berglund. Dimensions is really about the celebration of technology and uh, technology change. Connectivity has has just been transformed what we can do and where we can do it and how we go about doing it. We have been focused on work and really kind of breaking it down into its simple, simplest forms, uh, capturing uh, data, performing analytics on it, doing calculations on it, coming to a point of view as to what should happen, and then going out into the field and making that digital view of things uh, actually real. We have historically had three aspirational goals it involves listening to the voice of the customer very carefully, but at the same time having the courage to step out in traffic and be innovative. We are committed to the mission of transforming the world's work. And partnerships, which is a key word for us, anchored by trust. Those are the characteristics we hope to uh, demonstrate along with a number of others. That is who you're, you're spending your time with here for the next three days. We also heard from Trimble Technology Innovation VP, Doug Brent. The big tech trends going forward around this, connecting digital and physical, providing the right kind of secure architecture and infrastructure, and then moving away from things like analytics and moving towards answers, just give me an answer, uh, and automation. Uh, we put together a, a technology demonstration just, just for dimensions around Okay, I'm gonna let you guess for a second. What's missing in that upper right-hand picture? I heard somebody say it, there's no driver. So let me start this and I'll talk over it, but this is a, a demonstration of a, a autonomous tractor that is 95% Trimble production technology. Another of this year's key themes is mixed reality. Microsoft's Lorraine Bardeen told delegates about the HoloLens and Trimble's SketchUp viewer. I am delighted to announce that SketchUp is coming to HoloLens as Trimble's first mixed reality commercial tool, SketchUp Viewer. Now SketchUp Viewer, paired with HoloLens, it's going to extend all the value that you already get from SketchUp because it's going to allow you to bring that digital content that I mentioned into your real world real time as part of your current workflow. Architect Greg Lynn, an early adopter of this technology, demonstrated its capabilities on the stage. Okay, so we can launch that from the SketchUp viewer. Oh yeah, looks good, Greg. Yeah, so now we're in a tabletop view where we can bring the model in, we can look at it from a bird's eye perspective, and we're both seeing the same model in space together. It's a brand new way for us to experience a project and also to focus and talk on specific aspects. Having the ability to work on these things together to make these important design decisions, mm -hmm. it's really a game changer for me and it's this bridge between the virtual and uh, the physical is what architecture is about and this is really revolutionary. Dimensions 2016 has once again seen the fruits of Trimble's long-standing relationship with Microsoft. Microsoft HoloLens is the first fully untethered holographic computer. It allows people to visualize digital content in the real world across different industries. Virtual reality and augmented reality have been around for decades. In the VR space, it's either you're in VR or you're not in VR, where I want to see the entire world, but then I want to see digital content in that real world. HoloLens is a mixed reality device, meaning it can actually understand the environment around you. 
And not just this, it can take the digital content from the screen into the real world. And so what's new about that is our ability to bring holograms to a broad audience of people in a way that they've never been able to do before. And we've done that, obviously, with Trimble, with SketchUp as the first commercially viable software that allows you to see holographically what you're building in the BIM space and the construction space. This is the first ever commercial product for HoloLens, not just for Trimble, but in general. The collaboration with Trimble has been a multi-year journey, and so We've been working on the SketchUp program and the SketchUp viewer for a long time. There's a huge portfolio of software that Trimble offers where we see continuous opportunity across multiple segments, you know, from leadership down to geologists in the field, from designers to architects to construction folks. Like, the idea that we can put mixed reality in all of their hands, that's an amazing opportunity for both of us. I think mixed reality will be uh, everywhere, not just in our professional life, but also impacting education and communication and almost every aspect of our life. For tasks that are dangerous, you need these brand new state-of-the-art unmanned ground vehicles from Autonomous Solutions. Here at Trimble Dimensions 2016, I'm really excited about presenting our autonomous technologies previews for the very first time to the general public. In our off-site area, we have the first autonomous machine fully operated by Trimble technology precisely guided by Trimble RTX Corrections and the Trimble Agriculture Guidance System. It automatically slows down and stops uh, when detecting unexpected obstacles. In the exhibit hall, we have a demonstration of an autonomous indoors vehicle that can be used for transportation and maintenance tasks. Where you want to have robotics is DDD, dull, dangerous, dirty so it really keeps the people out of harm's way. It's a productivity gain, it's better workflows, so it's a perfect fit for our Trimble theme. Trimble Forensics are world leaders in capturing evidence at crime scenes and road traffic accidents. New releases of software announced at Dimensions 2016 will further enhance that reputation. Trimble Forensics serves the law enforcement market uh, for crime scene investigations, security planning, and accident or collision reconstruction. So basically we make solutions that tell the story of what happened. We have an event, we have a, a car crash, and our solutions are used to document, map that scene, and then tell the story of what happened. Tell the story to, to a jury, for example, uh, to the insurance company, right? And just document exactly what happened in that event and recreate it. We offer value to our customers in a couple of different ways. One, uh, if you've ever been in an accident, you want a good report. You want a good case made. You want the truth to be told. Two, uh, one I think all of us can relate to is being stuck in traffic. So there's a lot of costs associated to road closures due to accidents. So this week at Dimensions, we released three new software packages. Trimble Forensics Capture, which is our field data collection software. Trimble Forensics Reveal, which is our office software package, and Trimble RealWorks Forensics, which is a uh, laser scanning package. So basically we make solutions that tell the story of what happened. We're going to be running two stations here at Dimensions, one for 2D solutions and the other for 3D solutions. During the 2D session, we'll be taking a look specifically at a compact grading attachment from Hitchdock, the dual dozer running dual laser. We'll also be taking a look at GCS Flex and GCS Flex plus GPS. On the 3D small site solutions, we're going to be showcasing SketchUp for the small site contractor. It's a new extension we've developed. We'll also be taking a look at a couple of our compact grading attachments that are outfitted with 3D, such as ATI Level Best, Bobcat, and Caterpillar's new box blade. We'll also be taking a look at our GPS solutions for the small site using SCS 900, specifically the SPS 585 receivers.